said, you know, look, Jesus is coming. It's it's near. It's time. It's uh, Jesus is close, and it, and it's uh, almost time for the Lord to come back. And uh, everyone in the room shrieked. They uh, they were screaming, and uh, they were terrified. They didn't understand what was happening because of the sign in the moon. And uh, I I started looking at the moon, and then I I looked back, and everyone their fear kind of just faded away. And they went back to normal within, you know, a few moments, within like maybe 10 or 15 seconds of time that went by. Bless you, brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome back to Cloud9 Blessings. This is Amber, and I hope that you are all having a very beautiful and blessed day in the Lord. Thank you so much for joining me here again so that we can experience another powerful submission that has been emailed into the channel. And in this video today, we are going to be listening to a warning dream that our brother in Christ had. He talks about how the clock is ticking and shares the urgency of what he saw in his dream. So let's now take a look and see what our brother in Christ saw in his dream. But uh, let me get to the first dream that I had. Um, the dream that I had uh, I was in a dark room. Uh, this was a classroom. Now, I could see things, but it was just very dark and uh, just very little light. But uh, it was in great detail, and I could still remember it. It, it burned into my my memory uh, even till to today. But um, what uh, what was going on is there was guys and girls in this classroom, and I was sitting in the uh, front left uh the second to the left uh, row of seats. There was about 50 seats, and they were, they were all filled with uh, kids. Uh, they were uh, at about high school age, maybe uh, early college years. And uh, I looked around the room, and I observed them, you know, talking amongst each other, you know, just listening to them chitter-chatter. And... Um, I noticed there was a uh, door to my back right in the back of the room. And uh, <clears throat> I wanted to know why uh, there was just so little light. And I started looking around and I noticed the moon. There was a, th it had an open ceiling in this classroom. There was no roof. And I noticed it was the night sky and the moon was out. It was a full moon. And I looked up at the moon. It was about a 45 degree uh, angle in the sky. And uh, I started looking at the moon, and I was sitting there looking and staring. And all of a sudden, uh, the hands of a clock appeared in the moon uh, with white, uh, letter, white numbering and white uh, hands of the clock. And um, the clock had changed uh, times. It started out from uh, 2 till 2. And then all of a sudden, uh, the hands began to move and spin rapidly and speeding up and uh, ticking away at time. And I don't remember where the hands had stopped, but um, I just remember the first uh, first number, the, the time that the hands stopped or the started on. And I, I uh, alerted everyone. I said, you know, look, Jesus is coming. It's it's near. It's time. It's uh, Jesus is close, and it, and it's uh, almost time for the Lord to come back. And uh, everyone in the room shrieked. They uh, they were screaming, and uh, they were terrified. They didn't understand what was happening because of the sign in the moon. And uh, I I started looking at the moon, and then I I looked back, and everyone their fear kind of just faded away. And they went back to normal within, you know, a few moments, within like maybe 10 or 15 seconds of time that went by. Their um, their fear went to an ease and then a calm, and then they just started talking amongst each other. And uh, I was marveling at their disbelief in the coming signs of the Lord uh, and warning signs. Um, because to me, in, in this dream, this is obviously a a great sign to behold and marvel and um, such a gift that the Lord is 
kind enough to warn us before he does something. And so I, uh, I marveled and looked back. And as they started talking and chattering, uh, they all got up. It was time to leave, I guess. It was for some reason. I don't know if a bell rang. I don't know why they got up and left. But they all left like it was no big deal. And so um, after, you know, they had left the room, uh, the dream ended. And it was just burned. It was etched into my mind. Um, now, this dream kind of got put on low priority for me, you know, because, uh, you know, I was dealing with other things, and I really didn't think that it pertained to anything important until I uh, I saw something recently. It reminded me of this dream. It was uh, the thumbnail to a Dave Chappelle uh, skit on YouTube, and J, uh, Dave's uh, hands were in the exact same position that this clock's hands were in, two till two. But I'm not saying that this has anything to do with that dream. It's just it was such a weird sign and weird coincidence. And I'm not saying now I shouldn't even say that the Lord doesn't work in coincidences. There, there, there was a reason why I'd seen that and why I remembered that dream and and. You know, God works in mysterious ways. We all know that. Um, but there had to have been a reason why uh, I was reminded of this dream. Perhaps I received the dream then uh, for me to remember now and to glorify the Lord in some way. I don't know, uh, some mysterious way. But I'm sharing it with you now. And uh, as for... As for the reason, I don't know what it indicated. I know the time is desperate. I know the Lord is coming very soon. And uh, we should be always, you know, staying ready. And I, I have backslidden many times. Um, but we confess our sins to the Lord. And he is, uh, he is good to forgive us. And um, we just have to believe and trust in his word that he is ready to forgive as long as we confess. In one of my favorite scriptures, in John 14, verse 2, it says, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go and prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. That is so powerful because we will get to be with the Lord for an eternity. And it is going to be so exciting to be with the Lord and also all of the brethren. These dreams and visions that many of our brothers in Christ are sharing are as proof of what we have to look forward to. And it is so amazing. Our Brother in Christ Williams YouTube channel information is in the description box, so please head over there and subscribe. He is so encouraging, and I look forward to seeing more dreams and updates should he post on his YouTube channel. Please type in the comments box, I am ready to meet the Lord in the air. Type, I am ready to meet the Lord in the air, because we should all be so ready to see the Lord and be with him for an eternity. I truly hope that this video blesses each and every one of you brothers and sisters in Christ. And until next time, have a very blessed week.